Welcome. <coughs> Try that again. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video. Loving that drawer system. Works a treat. I built that drawer approximately six months ago now, I think. Might have been a bit longer. And it's been a really hit. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about, you might see, a couple of batteries in front of me here. So what are they doing there, you might be wondering. Oh, as you're aware, recently, PowerPoll Australia delivered a couple of batteries. One is a 12 volt Scout 280 amp power lithium battery. And the other one, which is inside my vehicle, is the PowerPoll Australia 12 volt Mercury 330 amp power battery. So if you're not aware by now, that's the one I've chosen to use out of the two. One of my last chance that I'm going to be able to film on the Scout 280 battery. At least this one here, because it is sold. It's already gone. <laughs> Gold. <laughs> Who's watching the World Cup soccer? I know I'm not, so I don't know where I got the gold from. So it's 280 amp hours. And you've got sitting here, right beside me, is me old kick-ass AGM. 125 amp hour. So this is my first deep cycle battery that I started off with. Up until I started using this AGM battery, I was using Eskies with ice in them. So that's up to fairly recently. So this battery is around about five, six years old. So a bit of a late bloomer <laughs> in this sense. We're still using ice up until then. But now, well, you see what I'm using now. I've got an upright fridge that's currently set at about one degree Celsius and the freezer's at about minus 27. So what a difference. I'm looking at going camping by the end of the week. We'll see what the weather's like. I don't know how promising that's looking. Apparently there's a lot of rain coming and I believe it's just too hot and humid. I'm surprised how humid it is outside. I haven't been outside much at all in the past week. And I've just been out here for 10 minutes. Oh boy. I almost cannot breathe. It's crazy. But I'm also just getting over a bit of a bug. <coughs> Which just about pretty much over it. Well, I thought I was. But wow, the heat. Okay, so you can see, I want to show you the difference in size. This is my old 125 amp hour uh, battery, AGM battery, which by the way, still works perfectly fine because I've looked after it. I've never taken any more than max 20, 30% capacity out of this battery. For that reason, <clears throat> Being it's over five years old, it still works perfectly fine. <coughs> As you can see, it's still hooked up. I'm still using it in the shed. In fact, for those watching this video now, I might have a special deal coming up soon. I'm going to include this battery and this Enerdrive EPro Plus battery monitor. Now, if you know anything about these Enerdrive EPro Plus, battery monitors you see they're quite expensive well, I'm gonna do a deal with anyone interest I've got that angle which is in perfect condition you can come around and have a look and see 
There's not a mark, there's not a scratch on it. So it's in mint condition, this thing. It's a 45 litre combi. So it's fridge freezer. And I'm going to sell it with the AGM battery and the Enerdrive EPRO Plus. The battery, yes, is five years old, but I believe there's probably at least still another three, four year life out of this. But don't vouch on me that, guys. There's no warranty, obviously, with this. Just be aware, you could take this battery home next week and it'll be cactus. So just be aware of that. It is five, six years old. But I'd be surprised if it doesn't last at least a bit of time. So at least to run that fridge. So let me know if you're, in, if you're interested in that deal. Whew. I tell you what, it's, let me see if I can change here, it's too hot. Oh, oh boy, please let me know if you're interested in that deal, but I probably shouldn't have filmed this video honestly guys. I just want to try to get a video out. I haven't had a video out for a few days and whew, this is more like a blog. I thought I was 100% over this bug but oh boy it's too hot and I cut it short. It's going to make this a video, get the tape measure, compare the difference in size. But I've moved closer to under the shed now so I'm at least out of the sun and be honest I don't think my camera would have lasted another minute it was that hot I couldn't touch it it's unbelievable it's like this this this, this burning rage behind the sun right now it's just wow this is crazy so bit of a blog video just to get something out now I cannot tell you what a big game changer, I know I've said this before, but what a big game changer, having this <coughs> Powerpool Australia battery in the back of my vehicle now. So some of the things I've noticed since I've filmed my videos on the Powerpool Australia, now that I've owned it for about a month and been testing it out for a month, is that just how awesome it is that you to have this system, this battery system, where you can basically set it up and just forget. It's basically what it's like. When I had the last battery in, now the last battery is gone. Right? It's gone. We're not going to be talking about that anymore. It's because of a lot of... Uh, Negativity, I should say, that battery. I know a lot of you do not agree with me. They love this particular brand. Think it's the bee's knees of all batteries. That's fine. Everyone's got their own opinions. Everyone's got their own opinion. But a lot of people <laughs> like to really push that opinion at you really hard. And if you don't agree with them, they go out to attack you. Now, I'm not out there to... I wasn't purposely going out there to compare exactly that battery against these batteries or with that battery or with that battery. I just wanted to use a battery to compare to show the benefits that a Powerpool Australia battery has very similar size in the case with 280 or 330 amp hours capacity in it compared to a battery with a similar size case not much smaller with 100 amp hour capacity in it and to be honest with not really that much more money you have to pay, pay, pay considering what you get with the PowerPoint battery so that battery's gone now. All right, it's gone. I'm not going to tell you whether I sold it, whether I ditched it, or what I've done with it. 
it's not on the premises here anymore so don't worry I'm not going to talk about that battery anymore I'm not even going to mention the name anymore so that battery is zilch no more but it's a battery I owned for 14 months so I had some experience with it so I wanted to show you the difference that that battery has with this battery here now you'd have to buy three three plus of those yeah let, let me let me say this if this is the last word I'm going to say on that <clears throat> you'd have to buy three times those batteries to get the same capacity of what this battery is actually more than three times this is 330 amp hour so you'd have to buy more than three times the capacity and the battery even at a discounted price is selling for $800 that's $2400 you'd have to pay and you've got a battery bank that's going to take up more than twice the capacity of this thing here more than probably three times the capacity when I say capacity the volume the area in your vehicle of what this one here plus <clears throat> you got to parallel those batteries together and what does that mean more potential for heat resistance Heat equals resistance. Resistance equals heat. More potential for resistance. So, the more joints you have in your 12 volt system, the more connections, the more risk you are of resistance. <clears throat> See, you are totally defeating the purpose of owning an Egon DC hub. If I go buy three of these batteries, to make the capacity of this you're still going to have no BMS you're going to end up paying more money for the same capacity with no BMS let's just leave it at that so that's all I'm going to mention about it I'm not going to comment on the battery anymore so if you put a comment down below on that particular battery I will not reply to it I basically I think I've said enough about it I've told you my opinion on it yeah it's a good battery for just powering the fridge and LED lights if that's all you want to do you're starting out on a budget that's totally fine but don't expect it to perform the way they tell you it's going to perform that's just there are bad, better options out there let me just get a cool drink here bit of a blog this one I was gonna I was gonna specifically make this video on showing the difference in size between the PowerPoint Australia batteries and a average size battery Oh, oh, it feels better. Oh, I'm soaked. Absolutely soaked. <coughs> Since I finish this video, I'm going to go sit in the aircon, edit, get it uploaded today, and just sit back and relax. Oh. So. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's quickly talk over what I've found so far, what I love about this new battery. I don't have to do this bugger all. The other battery, <coughs> now this is because of its capacity of only being 100 amp hour, 
because I like leaving this fridge on 24 hours a day in summer particularly at this setting which I got now which is set at about what's it now currently two degrees Celsius but that's just because I opened the fridge and it's minus 24 and a half normally it sits on about one degrees so it's the coldest setting I can set the fridge on and it's ideal when you got these sort of temps let me tell you what the temp is here right now it is 31.3 degrees Celsius with 61% humidity at 9.06 a.m. in the morning 31 degrees at 9.06 forecast max is going to be supposed to be 31 we've got rain coming I can see why it's too hot and humid it's probably going to have a storm tonight I hope so because then that might start clearing might get a bit clear, uh, cooler So that's a big difference I found with this battery. Set and forget. I don't have to muck around with it every day like I did with the other one. To be honest, by now, I would have turned the fridge and freeze attempt down by now. So I wouldn't have to charge the battery every day. But it was like that. I had to connect, connect to the AC outlet in my garage here every day keep this fridge going when I had that smaller capacity battery this one here not only can I leave the fridge at its maximum settings I don't touch it or find I'll need to charge it till well I could go uh, about five days without charging the battery if I want it six days I reckon stretch it to six days which is pretty good going running all this gear charging batteries etc I use all this to charge running me in the coffee machine you see I've got the coffee machine here I'm going to put the ice maker back in here soon so it'll be running that uh, I'm never going to put it back in today it'll certainly go back in the vehicle this week by the way, they had ice making machine. That's a beauty. Never had a problem with it. Still works. And it's going to go through another summer. I reckon it's going to get a lot of use too. So I'll do a, another follow-up video on that one. I've owned it for a year now. And it's been quite a popular video. It's had over 7,000 views last time I checked in that past year which is a lot more than what most of my videos get by a considerable amount <clears throat> so that one is certainly warrant a continuation video on it because you seem to be very interested in it particularly with this hot weather coming along and early info out on it now after owning it from a young one year I still love it as much as the day when I did that first review on it, still love it. And that's what I love about this PowerPool Australia battery. I don't have to worry about having to charge my battery all the time. In fact, I hardly been doing much driving around. If I was, I wouldn't even have to ever connect it to the AC here in the garage to top it up in fact when I do go do a bit of driving around there's been days where I have not had to charge the battery using the IC charger for a week whereas with the other battery now this is not because of the brand name or anything it's just the capacity all right so this could be with any other battery because of its capacity only 100 amp which is nowhere near enough for what I'm doing I had to charge on AC every day so that 
you know, I don't give that battery too hard a lifetime. I don't want to bring it down a certain amount percentage. And that's how I treat with this one here. So when I see it get down to about 50% and I'm at home, well, that's a good time to put it on AC charge for a few hours, top it back up, and then turn it off. And then I don't worry about it again until until it gets down to 50 or thereabouts. Which I've been finding it's about three, three to five days, depending how much driving around I'm doing. The more I'm driving, the longer I can go without having to top it up. Now, of course, when I'm camping, I will take it below 50%, but there's no point doing that at home when I've got an AC plug that's only about a couple of feet away from the vehicle and I've got a multi plus, a Victron multi plus in the vehicle so why run the battery down? So you want to get as much life as possible out of your battery I don't know about you, at least I do so the more discharges you're going to get if you don't take it down to 100% every time you use the battery. And that includes the same with your lithium batteries. Exactly the same. No difference. Exactly the same. No difference. Alright. Cheers. Might call that. I tell you, this has made a huge difference. There's a bit of cloud covers come in. And this nice icy cold Coca-Cola here with this boost to energy. Oh, just what my body needs. Feels awesome. But I'm still recuperating from this bug, whatever I picked up. And it's not COVID. Got tested for that. I think I've just got some um, two, three day bug. And so I just want to recover from that because plans are to go camping this Friday as long as I feel 100%. I, I don't want to be going around traveling if I'm not feeling 100%. So I've got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I've got, I've got four days to recuperate. So as long as I'm recuperate within the next two or three days. I'll pack up the go camping, but it also depends on the weather. From what they're taking, talking, <laughs> there's big rains coming tomorrow. So we'll see what happens, eh? Alright, let's call that video short. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, put a like. And comment if you've got any questions. And until next time, cheers. Look after yourself, eh? Bye.